Hey there, let me introduce myself. My name is Ethan, but the only thing you need to know about me is this is what I do. You probably clicked on this video because you want to be here, but you're not quite sure how to get there. Well, you're in luck because I'm going to go over everything you need to know, plus tips to help you get there faster. The last video I made on this topic went absolutely ballistic with over 120,000 views and hundreds of comments of your success stories with these tips. So I've returned with an updated and more concise look on how to win at go-karting. Chapter 1, The Racing Line The single most important concept to grasp is the racing line. This is the fastest path around a corner or circuit and can turn a track from looking like this into this. At a very, very simplified level, the racing line stems from the idea that the less a vehicle turns, the faster it will go. This can sometimes be hard to visualize, so here's some diagrams I found online. First off, here's what a simplified geometric racing line is. You start from the outside of the corner, turn into the innermost point called the apex, and fan out to the outside of the track on exit. But why does this work? It's simple to associate a tighter turn with having to go slower, whereas a wider turn you can take faster. Let's take a look at this concept in context. An inside line, shown in red, requires you to have a really slow speed to make the corner. You can see the radius to make this turn in a circle is really small. In running, this is the fastest line simply because it covers the least distance. However, runners aren't maximizing the grip on their shoes. They simply take steps at a relatively fixed speed in whatever direction they choose. In racing, we're looking to maximize the speed with the grip available, and are almost never concerned with the distance traveled. Therefore, this is the slowest line you can take to the corner. The outside line, shown in blue, is wider, allowing for a larger radius, which means you can carry more speed on the inside. But there's a much better option here shown in green, which is our racing line. By using all the track available, the radius of the turn opens dramatically, and you can carry much more speed through the corner. Real quick, let's see this in action. As you can see, I start on the outside edge, turn into the apex, and then use all the track on exit. Chapter 2, Cart Control Now that we've got the racing line out of the way, let's talk about how to get your cart through it. First off, if you're trying to go fast, don't drift. Mario Kart has been lying to you. Yes, drifting is fun. No, it is not fast. The wheels are designed to move in a forward direction. Anything other than that is slow, so make sure to keep the cart in check. Unless it's raining, where in that case you can just do whatever you want, like I did. Next, let's talk about braking. Make sure you're braking in a straight line. You don't want to end up like this dude. The next tip is to avoid sharp inputs on the cart. This means on the brakes, throttle, or the wheel. Carts aren't really cut out for slowing down quick or speeding up fast, so keep a nice, smooth, fluid driving style and you will keep your speed up through the corners. Chapter 3, Implementation. So now you know how to drive fast, but how do you implement these tips efficiently? Well, for starters, every track is different, so I would recommend going on YouTube and finding an onboard video from your local track so you can observe these concepts in action. When you're out karting, you can identify drivers that are quicker and follow them to pick up the nuances of your individual track. If for some reason you need help identifying these helpers, they're likely the ones passing you. Study their lines and learn from the way that they drive. Maybe even identify a weakness and improve upon it. Same goes for people that are slower than you. If you're faster, get ahead safely and continue on your way. No reason to let them hold you up. A final tip is to bring a GoPro and analyze your own laps. Compare them with others and find areas to improve. A second set of eyes is easily one of the most overlooked strategies of improvement. Now before you go, I have two requests. Last video, I really enjoyed hearing your feedback in the comments. All your success stories were super motivating, so if you want to, please feel free to comment those stories below. Finally, I humbly ask that if you've watched this far, please hit the like button on this video. It helps me out tremendously in continuing to do what I love to do and shows me that these tips were really helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.